Hi, this is Tanya, and I am going to go through how easy it is to create a website on easybuildyourownwebsite.com. And what I'm going to do for this example is I've been given permission by this travel agent to show you uh, what we can do with her Weebly site uh, that she created a um, web page for. So as you can see this is what she has right now and I'm going to show you what easy build your own website can do. And I'm going to try to keep this under 10 minutes so I am going to have to pause and stuff. It doesn't take that long to create a website but it does take more than 10 minutes which is what I want this video to be. So we'll be starting and stopping but as you can see to start a project I click a couple of buttons and uh, begin uh, just adding a project. It just starts out very easily. So to get rolling I fill out the information, the slogan. I'm going to actually just go down here and select travel and leisure and then I am going to select some starter pages that I'm going to want. A portfolio, products about us, we're just going to put a couple of things on here, but we'll be adding more later, don't worry. And I'm going to hit create. I just started my website. When we come up to step one right here, wow, we have a thousand templates to select from. And luckily it has narrowed it down to the travel and leisure areas for us. And I am going to select one for uh, this agency there's a lot of things that you can do you can once you select one you can change the colors you'll be able to change the headings so I'm gonna go ahead and select one and get started but no there's a thousand to choose from for the purposes of this example I'm gonna select this one right here um, one of the neat things that you can see that you can do see right here it has a girl's face um, I can click this and all of a sudden get a guy uh, I can also change some coloring, but based on her last website, I'm going to say that she likes blue, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. Now when I get here, there are lots of changes that I'm going to make. So first what I'm going to do is she has a lot of um, time uh, put into her logo, so we are actually going to work on getting that on there versus the wording that's here. But you can see I can move this anywhere that I want. I can also add more, more text, more logos, put five million here if I wanted. But right now, I am going to take this off. Again, so simple, just hit the X, and I am going to upload her image. I just uploaded it and as you can see her image the original is much bigger than I'm gonna want so so easy again just go down squeeze it make it fix a little bit move it around we're gonna put it right here so it is right in the middle not too close to the chair and now I don't want it to move and I am going to lock that in right there the next thing I want to do is I want to add her phone number right onto the top. So I'm going to put the phone number here by insert text and I'm going to add her phone number. So I put her number in here. I made it big. I made it bold. I made it white. I hit save. It moves over here. Let's just slide it right there, right where everybody will see it and lock it in. There we go. She can put anything else up there she wants. Other things you can control, your font setting, your navigation. Uh, if you don't like the way that these menus are set up, hey, just a few clicks, you can change them. There's some ovals there. That doesn't look bad with that. Uh, but we could try something like this. Nah, I like the ovals better. Tab middle. Hmm, no, that's too boxy. Circles. Uh, you know, I think I'm still going with the ovals. Again, you can play with it. You can see. If I need to go back and change my template, I didn't like it, I could click there and start again. But I already like what we have. Site-wide, this will put permanent things on the top and bottom. So if I wanted to put on the bottom of my site my um, travel information and my um, uh, numbers and legal stuff, you can just put it right down here. Okay, that would be on the entire site. Hit save. That's going to be on the bottom of everything. 
Okay. And site properties. You can add your header tags, your body tags. Don't play with the CSS. And we're going to move on to the next section now. So I've got the basics set up. Now what I need to do is work on each page and here's how I edit each page. You just click the pencil. It's that simple. I'm actually going to start with showing you how simple it is to do a contact form. You click that button and you go ahead and wait. So the page comes up. You can see it already has a form here because it kind of set it up for you but we need to work with that. So we just go to that blue button, the form filler out comes in and you can see it has right here however please take notice of all these other things that you can use when you're building forms these are already made for you so if I wanted to register somebody for a cruise or an event or take a reservation all I have to do is fill out this information and we're gonna go into this so I can show you how simple it is to edit a form now they've already of course started out with this contact form for you so uh, it'll load up in a second and when it comes out you can see first name last name email phone number your message well there's the basic stuff if I wanted some more information on there for example um, I really believe in putting in the uh, forms that you need so nobody will spam you call it a captcha form well you know what all I have to do to get anything from over there over here is just drag and drop that's it now we'll take a look at this should this be a reservation and I need to collect twenty dollars from somebody let me show you how easy it is to add PayPal I'm gonna drag and drop that over here all I do is type in my PayPal account right there. Make sure it has the questions that I need answered. Hit next. Again, that's what's going to be on my form. Do I want a one-time payment, a subscription where I get monthly payments for them or even yearly, or are you a nonprofit and need a donation? Do we want a single product or is it a multiple product where they have choices? A t-shirt, they have several different sizes or multiple products. You put in the name. Um, we'll just say cruise. $500. Not that they're going to pay you for a cruise on a, for five, online, but you know. Let's just go with it. I need a cruise. And that's it. You hit finish. You're now collecting PayPal. That's all. So you saw me add a form. Basically, I went ahead and left there, but you can put a title up there, put on the information. It's a drag and drop system, very easy to use. Let's look about adding a page and a component, because this is the other fun thing about this. When I come on here, yes, I can add a page. I can make this page go to my booking engine. I can make this page go outside. Um, I can make another internal page called my services or upcoming cruises. Again, I just hit OK and I have a new page. The fun part comes in when you can add co components and components are, well, another online form which you saw, a guest book, newsletters, blogs, and photo galleries. I think every agent should have both on their page, a photo gallery and a blog, and this makes it so easy to do. There's also ways, it gets a little more complicated and you can watch a tutorial video on it. There's other ways that you can add users so people you know can upload photo galleries onto your site. So we're just going to add a blog onto here. And the blog, of course, is content that it'll be refreshed and it's kind of like a news page and the latest article usually goes on the top. Okay, so great. We just added a blog to our web page and I could have done the same thing in two clicks to add a photo gallery. If I wanted to do that external page, well, that's where I click here, put the page name, then I'll have a URL. So that's all. So easy. So how do we actually add the content? Well, again, you just go to that pen pencil. And here I'm going to click on the pencil. And I'm doing this real fast because I don't think I'm going to make my 10-minute deadline. But I really want to show you this, how easy it is. Okay, so I'm up on my sample 
home page this is what it is right now you can see where they kind of got you started if I wanted to keep this layout goodness knows it would take a couple seconds I just start typing in text put in a couple pictures and I'm set the other neat thing about this I click here on the picture and I go up here to a picture and I can get one of my own or you are allowed to use their image library they have tons of different ones for uh, different images that you are allowed to use. There's over 700 on here that you can choose from. Just click on the one I wanted that was there and I've got a great little picture and if I want to put uh, some special that's coming up here again though this is your home page it's not like your blog it doesn't change but your call to action put about your business uh, what I would typically do is go to her home page um, for some reason her thing doesn't even have a home page on here uh, I assume it's uh, about us maybe that's her home page Okay, so anyway, we're just going to go and grab some information about her company and cut and paste and go back and just drop it in here. That's all. Since I'm way over my time, I am just going to speed through this a little bit, but let me show you how easy it is to change the way your pages are laid out. You see these buttons right out there? If I just want one big section in the middle, I can select this. If I want my page laid out into two different sections, I could go here. So again, I can select this, and then once I have the layout, I can choose what I want it to look like. Now one of these is an option right there, but suppose I only wanted two columns. I just put that there. Wasn't that easy. I mean seriously, how quickly did I just change the layout of that page? So keep that in mind. The other neat thing that you can do is put Facebook on here. A like button and a uh, fan page and a comment box. And the neat thing that you have with your comment box when you put it on here it will allow people to make comments from your site that will go to your Facebook fan page and make comments on there plus it's on their site on so they're logged in and making comments so it's going on their Facebook account so people can see them making comments on your page and their friends will see you so it is a really valuable tool to go ahead and put those Facebook um, things on there and then the other neat thing right up here insert media with a click I can literally put a YouTube video on my account and I'm going to show you that in two seconds so if I had any media like something I wanted to upload they gave you some samples in here then you could put it there but most people go here and you can select for example a YouTube video and you just take the URL from your YouTube video paste it right into there if you want a border put that up there how big you want do you want it the center you know set the sides hit insert and you just put a video on your site in seconds there's tons of extra bells and whistles on here I haven't had time to show you here's your page titles here's your meta tags your page effects all of this can be done in a couple of seconds if I want to uh, type in the description and the keywords for each page you can quickly do it right here it takes a few minutes to set it up for each page and it's going to help your search engine optimization you know if you don't like uh, about us to show up like that so it would be your web name plus um, you know slash about us 
you can just do about and you guess what you just change the URL on your website so people can put in your domain name slash about and you uh, they will get to you through there so if the page name that shows on your tabs is not what you actually want them to type above for example it's too long then you can shorten it right there again tons of bells and whistles we have free training free videos it'll walk you through this you can literally create your website in a few hours but it's going to look professional thanks